Hey everybody. Alright, so I really don't care what I look like. I just woke up. Um, my dog just knocked over all my coffee. Right, Molly? Hey. It's a bird. It's a bird. It's a blade. No, it's just a bird. Alright, so I'm going to talk for a minute about things that have been going on. And it's really starting to affect everything about us. Um, in recent months... Um, the crime has picked up in our neighborhood, the drug use has picked up in our neighborhood, and thankfully I'm still sober. Um, I have no, no wants or needs to go and relapse or anything like that, but it's really affecting our community as a whole. Um, yesterday we witnessed a pretty serious crime, and the children were outside. They watched this person kick in a door, beat the crap out of somebody, and then take off before the cops got here. And it was literally, the kids were scrambling for doors because of how bad this was. Um, parents were trying to get kids indoors, and we were all sitting outside with our children when it happened. And that's the sad part, is that they didn't care. Um, we're looking to move. I We can't do it anymore. It's just, it's... It's detrimental to our health, our mental health, our safety. I've reported it and reported it and reported it, and nothing's getting done. So now we are trying to leave, and it's sad. It sucks, you know, because I really like my, my little neighborhood, except for the, the small group of people that are making it hell for us that said it sucks you know my 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 12 year old comes to me two days ago and says dad can you teach us what to do if somebody tries kicking in our door can you teach us what to do if somebody tries to hurt us I, my, my 12 year old shouldn't have to worry about this no child should have to worry about this. No parent should have to worry about if their child's going to get shot or run over or beat in, a par in, our, in our own house, in our own complex. And then yesterday, my eight-year-old comes running in the house crying because he watched this all happen. When, when is this going to end? When are we going to be able to be sane again? You know, when are we going to be able to have our house, our complex, our our freedom back, per se? When? We go to the police and it's, there's nothing we can do. Our hands are tied. We go to our housing manager because we live in low-income housing. And just because we live in low-income housing doesn't mean that we're all a bunch of, you know, just toss all the... the, the Addicts and everything down here. No, that doesn't mean anything. You know, we, we're in low-income housing and we get treated like scum. When the same crap happens in regular housing too. Like people who own houses and rent houses. But you know what? In those situations, they toss their asses out as quick as the f door would hit them on the ass on the way out. And here, they give them chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. And it's starting to affect everybody. I'm in college. And I end up missing days of school because I can't even focus. Because I'm up all night. I call the police, nothing gets done. I call my housing manager, well, we don't have enough evidence. I called the police, work with them. I'm done. And the sad part is, is I feel myself slipping back into my old ways. And I don't want to go that way. Because that way was not pretty. That said, it's the weekend.